What's up, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you a simple solution to an error that you could be getting in the Epic Games App Store. Basically, if you open up your screen and you see something similar to this, ECBL or BI, I think that is, LS hyphen zero. This is an error code that's specific to issues between your computer and talking to the servers. Usually this will happen after you click a login, after inputting a username and password. And of course, if you're using something like my Techno Account Switcher, which is linked in the description down below to quickly switch between Epic Games accounts, among other things, you may still find yourself having to log in with this error code over here showing up on your screen. What exactly does this mean? Well, it basically means that there's an issue between your computer and the server communicating. The first thing we can do is click the error code over here to make sure that we're not beating around the wrong bush. Usually they'll have lots of categories talking about different things, although they only seem to have 16 at this current moment, and they only seem to be targeting this LS error over here, and this one over here that looks something similar, but it's not the same. There's nothing showing up for ECBILS-0. With this issue over here and a couple of other issues, you may notice something like this at the very top. We are aware of players experiencing issues logging into their Epic Games accounts. We're working to resolve this as quickly as possible. Please check the Epic Games status page for the most up-to-date information. The first step to solving this is actually heading across to the status page and checking the status of the Epic Games servers. If you reach this page over here or you saw the warning like previously, then you know something is going on and it's not your fault. If we scroll down, we'll see the Fortnite servers, the Epic Games store servers over here, which is what we're really interested in. And you can see that the login system is currently degraded performance. If it shows up as partial outage, degraded performance, or something else that's not simply green and operational, then that's what the issue is, especially if you're trying to do a certain action and you're receiving an error in return. So at this current moment in time, the issue between my computer and the Epic Games server is in fact on the Epic Games side. I can do absolutely nothing about it other than wait for the issue to be resolved by Epic Games staff. So once again, the status page will be linked in the description down below. But hypothetically, let's say that all of these are green and operational. What else can we try? Well, if we head back to the technical support page, you can see there's nothing here. What do we do? Well, there's a couple of things that could be afoot. So, of course, this is a communication issue between your computer and the Epic Games servers. First of all, if you're using a third-party antivirus or firewall, it's a very good idea to try temporarily disabling them, checking to see if you can log in, and seeing if Epic Games has fixed itself, obviously assuming that the Epic Games servers are perfectly fine up and running. If for some reason your antivirus or firewall software is blocking the program from running, simply add an exception. And if you're not too sure how to do that for your specific antivirus or firewall, make sure to give that a simple Google. Now, of course, if you tried temporarily disabling your firewall and your antivirus, if you even have one installed, yet it's still not working, what else can we try? Well, something you can try is closing out the Epic Games launcher completely, not just by hitting the X in the top right, but also by locating the icon in your task tray if for some reason it's still here. Right click on it and then click exit. At this point, hit start, locate Epic Games either on the pinned list, in the apps list over here, or simply search for it. Then either right click it and click run as administrator, or if you're on a screen like this, you can hover over it and click run as admin. After clicking yes, when prompted if you'd like to give it admin, the Epic Games store will open up as usual. And if there's something on your computer blocking it from talking to the servers, when you eventually do log in, hopefully you'll be dropped onto your games screen where you'll be able to continue playing as usual. However, of course, this issue hasn't got anything to do with my computer, and it's in fact the Epic Games server. Although it seems like they're slowly working on solving the issue, I would assume it's just a huge influx of people for a very exciting bit of news that you've probably already seen as I've probably already uploaded the video. That is free Discord Nitro. If you're watching this very close to the release, there's probably still time to grab your free Discord Nitro from the Epic Games store. I think it's up to three months for free, as long as you haven't had Discord Nitro before. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check the link in the description down below. But anyways, that's about it for this video. This issue is specific to a communication issue between your computer and the servers, so that's where you should start digging if you're receiving this exact error. Thank you all for watching, my name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!